And another great morning rolls around. Another great morning at the Vapor Rooms in Garston today. And it is a Sunday. It is a superb Sunday. So everyone knows, because it's the weekend. You have moi in Garston today. Your local vape connoisseur as people like to nickname me. I don't know where that sprouted up from. I really don't. But there's some sort of story behind it. Someone could tell you. <laughs> but either way. Today, I'm at Garson to help you with all your vaping needs today. From anything in between buying yourself your first starter kit, all the way up to advice on building mechanical mods, anything to do with Ohm's Law. So, no matter how simple or how difficult it could be, we've got you covered. On top of that, we do have a lot of stock in store today, as you can plainly tell by our juice shelf. And our cabinets are filled to the brim still, even still. And today, primarily, I'm just going to be talking today. Yesterday's topic was on tanks, but I didn't cover any rebuildables. So today will be the rebuildable day. So still on the topic of tanks, rather than if people who, who've been using rebuildables for a while know that you can get uh, rebuildable tanks, rebuildable drippers, rebuildable dripping tanks, so on and so forth. The list goes on. But either way, I'm just talking about the RTAs today. I will get into RDAs a little bit as well just to sort of make you see the differences between them. So, we'll start off with a fairly simple single coil RTA. Now this one is the Watofo Serpent Elevate from Watofo. So, this one is a very, I wouldn't say small, but it is a very profile type of device. It is a single coil RTA with a postless deck. So when we say postless deck, Usually you'll get like two posts like this, one hole there, one hole there, one hole there, one hole there, and your coil goes along like so. On a postless, it's the same, but obviously there's no posts, it's basically milled into the build deck itself. But this one is a single coil, it has four holes for the preference on the way you wrap your coils. A Pretty decently sized tank capacity for something of its size as well. And that's the build deck, so you can have your coil sitting along like so. Your cotton tucks into these little wicking channels here, both on each side. And then you've got your adjustable top airflow there. So this tank is pretty, pretty leak resistant. And filler method is pretty standard. Unscrew the top, you've got two kidney shaped holes there of, of decent size to work with as well. But not every rebuildable is a single coil. You can get single coils, you can get dual coils, you can even get triples. I've seen a few quad coils out there, and there's many, many more. But a dual coil RC I have at my display disposal today is. The Geekfake Creed RTA, now this is a dual coil, and this one does have posts, so this isn't a postless one, like the Serpent beforehand. So if I get into the build deck here, you have a two hole post, basically a velocity deck, but which is the four hole two posts. But this one has two giant holes rather than four so this will share lead space, but very easy to rebuild your coils on. But airflow there, airflow there, has a, a Kennedy style airflow to it. If I had to mention, if I had to compare it to anything, so if anyone has been rebuilding for a while, you've probably heard Kennedy's talked about quite a lot. Old school drippers that do amazingly for flavour, airflow, it's like basically like the perfect RDA. But they are getting a little bit on age, so there are always improvements made over time. So you stick both you stick your legs of your coils into here and your one coil will come along the posts like so and same on the other side as well. And then you've got your airflow intake here. And then where you tuck your cotton is into these ports on the side. And with this particular tank, it does have 
these little airflow controls for your actual build deck. So you slot them over like so. And it gives you additional airflow options. You can run it completely without if you're pretty old school. To be quite honest, I have to thank myself. I run mine without. And that's pretty much it. You've got three slots on the bottom for airflow. One, two, three. And then we're back to our original position. And they are adjustable. They have hard stops. So once you reach one point, it'll stop. And it'll stop again. And to fill this one, same again. Just give the top a bit of a twist. And then you have those giant kidney slots in there as well. And for our rebuildable drippers, as I said, I will get into discussion with them. For RDAs, it's pretty much a similar situation. You can get single coils, you can get dual coils. So off the top of my head, a very, very good single coil dripper is stuff like the Botofil Recave. Brilliant example for it. Dual coil RDAs, there's countless amounts of them out there. So I can just name a few off the top of my head. EH Pro Panther, you've got the Botofo Warrior, Geekfake Baron, Goon, all your old school Twisted, twisted Messers 24s, the Cube, so on and so forth. And sometimes you can get a dual coil RDA that can be single coiled as well. So there are a lot of options for rebuilding, but if you've been looking into rebuilding, then we do have a selection of rebuildable tanks, rebuildable drippers, that use standard coils, mesh coils. So if you're looking to get into rebuilding, I'm pretty sure we can find something that you'll like in there. And do you know what? It's not even that hard. A lot of people will look up, look it up on YouTube videos and they'll be like, oh my God, this looks really complicated. I couldn't get myself into that. To be quite honest, my starting point was, I was the exact same. I used to look at all the videos of them and go, that is ridiculously complicated. For something that you just basically just For, for all that effort, it's I didn't really see it as worth it back then, but it is so much more worth it. Rebuilding is pretty much the best way to get flavour. You customise the coils yourselves, yourself, so it's perfectly suited for you. On top of that, the coils do naturally last longer and are cost effective as well. So, for me, the usual amount of time a coil will last minimum is about a month. On top, with maintenance, of course. But on top of that, you can, as an example, get a tub of 10 of them for at least half the price of a pack of coils as a general pricing. It is so much more cheaper, so much better. But if you've been looking into it for a while and have now found it a good excuse and a good, or a good reason to sort of try one, see what they're like, get a bit of advice before you... Basically, you're dipping your toe in before you jump headfirst into the pool. Is, by all means, come in. I can talk to, talk you all the way through it. And if you do end up picking up a new dripper or a new RTA, then we do offer a build subscription service as well, along with your tank or dripper. So, if you are sort of still getting the grips to it, but would like sort of like a live demonstration, then I'm always happy to do that, and every other staff member is as well. So... That is pretty much it from me today, guys. Another superb Sunday has rolled around, which means that we are open from 10am till 4pm today. And me at Garston, and we do have little Groot. Sorry, I've just got a habit of dancing whenever I mention Groot's name. I think it's just because we have a Groot on the till that literally you wind him up and he does this. So I have a habit of dancing whenever I mention him. But he's in our West Derby store today in that direction. And same things yet again. Not only am I in Garston to help you with all your vaping needs today, Sean is in West Derby to help you with all your vaping needs today if you're in the northern side of Merseyside today. But either way, hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I hope you do have a wonderful day. And if you're popping in today, hopefully I will see you soon. And if not, I hope your day is filled with a lot of positivity, lots of joy, Always got to always gotta have a fun time. And it's filled with relaxation because we you know Sundays are lazy days. But if you are if you do find yourself working much like myself or Sean today on a Sunday, then hopefully 
it is an easy time going today. You finish a little bit earlier than usual and you get to do you get to do things with your Sunday when you finish as well. So from me at Garston today guys, if I'm not seeing you today, enjoy the rest of your day. And if I am seeing you today, hopefully I will see you soon. But until then, ta-ta for now.